there's, I think that MOOCs are, are still having kind of a challenge making that happen. Seems to me that a place that a lot of, if I was a MOOC developer, one of the places that I would look would be the fan fiction community. Because there's all these different sort of fan fiction websites. I'm not really a fan fiction person, but you know I've had students do projects on these or whatever. But there's all these different kinds of fan fiction websites where you can submit a story and you can get peer review. And there are people that what they want to do is specialize in editing things. And there's other people who specialize in these kinds of characters and they put things together and stuff like that. So you've got this community of people who are posting things in uh, these fan fiction kinds of websites who are deeply invested in their stories and deeply invested in the process. And um, you, what, you, what the site basically does is um, gives them a place to go um, to share that passion, if you will, right? So in other words, the whole point of a fan fiction website is that's the virtual place to go where you can get interaction and feedback and make connections with other writers. Well, that to me is probably um, where MOOCs could potentially succeed as far as like, you know, students writing with each other and things like that. The tricky thing is, is that typically students in a course like freshman composition are a lot less motivated than students who are writing, you know, Harry Potter slash fiction or something like that, because they don't have as much invested personally in, um, you know, their research paper about, whatever, versus <laughs> writing their Harry Potter stories. Mm -hmm.